Onyx the Fortuitous and the Talisman of it's Souls. Oh. Popular internet character Onyx the Fortuitous joins a group of occultists at the mansion of their idol in order to perform a dark ritual. This film in the <laughs> midnight section of Sundance comes from writer-director and star Andrew Bowser adapting his immensely popular internet character of the same name for a feature-length film. Not just feature-length, 110 minutes long. Hey, not just 110 minutes long, so... bro. Onyx 2, in the works. In the sure. works. <laughs> Sequel teased at the end of the movie. It's disgustingly long. Like, I don't care how you take, you, what your takeaway is, and if you enjoyed it, this movie does no business being this long. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Andrew Bowser would be on the podcast later to discuss all the hidden <laughs> Easter eggs. And the... Hey, look, it's not a great movie. I'm, I'm proud of seeing a YouTuber here. We already had two YouTubers here and they made a great movie. It's called Talk to Me. He's not a YouTuber. He's a TikTok guy. Actually, no, he's it's actually cut like, everything. No, it turns he's... out he, he like worked for like some studios and stuff and he did, did like cutouts and stuff. That so makes it worse. It's the yeah, second the complete worse. opposite of a YouTuber. Yeah. Worse. You know what? He's on YouTube. He's on YouTube, but I didn't think that's where he grew his platform. I thought he grew it on short form content. I thought it was YouTube, but I don't I could really be wrong. Know. Maybe he we're tweeted crazy. it out and he said Follow me, leave me five stars. No, no, no. Yeah, that was that was that well, part was on YouTube. Talisman of Souls is a very annoying character that if you follow him and you're cool with that accent, you're going to get answers to like certain things that I guess he's had in his lore for a while. Yeah, I don't, I don't know That's any fun. of that. Literally. That's fun. If you were a fan and like you're into the shtick, like and you might walk away from it. it. They kickstarted this movie into existence, and look, it got made. There it yeah, is. and I but I've even seen some people saying that they did kickstart it mm -hmm. and they didn't like the movie. <laughs> Um, I just think that this is kind of the equivalent of like a character. If you had a comedy and your main characters walked by some like weird magician on the side of the street right. and then somebody would punch him and that would be the extent of it. That's this, that character, but a whole movie about him. It's like you get like, you just wanted him punched. It's like the camera gets punched and you're suddenly following him around and you're not following the main characters yeah. you were just with, but you're just, and some of the, it's kind of, there's moments that are okay and I can kind of handle it, but then at one point, literally, he just says, like, I have to take a fat shit. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. There, there are people <laughs> for whom this will work. I think it's, to, to me, it's like the worst type of internet comedy. Like the absolute depths of, it, of <laughs> internet it's humor. It's the bass player from School of Rock. What is she doing in this movie? Yeah, yeah. they disres yeah, they disrespected oh, them in School of Rock, too, so they went Barbara back Barbara Crampton is two. in this. I, I think the reason this really got made was because Olivia Taylor Dudley has a huge fan base. It ended up being a key story and, like, a lot of things. So clearly that must have helped out. Yeah. Um... um we will be there for the premiere, uh, the premiere <laughs> in 2025 for Onyx and the extra yeah. fortuitous in the talisman yeah. of extra souls. Goons, I don't know. <laughs> my, my least favorite movie I've ever seen <laughs> at a Sundance Film Festival. Yeah, I, I do think you put it best, though. It honestly just feels like a Nickelodeon movie where they are like talking about sex and dropping F-bombs. Yeah. It feels like everything about this is geared at children, except for like the language and the subject matter. And then it's like, well, now... It is kind of the thing that if you're 12, you're going to be like, ho, 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 ho. Honestly, it'll be online on YouTube probably very soon. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Practical. Be cool. But like, you know what? Good job getting it made. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I That's know. something. I don't have a movie. Yeah, exactly. The, can speak to... He's got something we don't. I don't know. I don't know. I can't even... Some puppeteering I can't stuff. even what, pretend. Some, some puppeteering? Some, puppeteer, some puppeteering work in there? Was yeah. nice? The puppets were nice? Sure. Sure. It, yeah, like the little, the little like, and then he like, like made out of me. Yeah, yeah, you look really real. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Sure. The 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 music video homage. No, it didn't earn it. He got that cleared. That's didn't, a big deal. Didn't didn't earn it. Same thing with Beetlejuice. Didn't earn it. Are we sure he cleared? <laughs> 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 Honestly, there was some stuff at some Sundance movies. I was like, yeah, he cleared that. Yeah. <laughs>